Welcome to the shop. This time around, it's uh, an update. Lots of new stuff has come. Uh, I'm still expecting some audio delay in the video. I haven't quite worked that out yet. Um, but I know the audio is pretty good. It's just not super fantastic. So this uh, video camera finally came, uh, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, and I'll try to post some videos on Instagram or something later. That's giant robot 367 at Instagram if you're interested. Um, and uh, I don't know, I just like it. I like the, uh, the fish eye. I was able to get the wide angle lens, which really puts me in a good mood because it gets the background of the shop, which, you know, me, egotistical, nah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna laugh myself about that. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm gonna build a sharpening knives. This is a huge hobby of mine. So I'm I'm gonna build myself a, a fancy knife sharpening do funcus. And I've got some uh, three eighths inch stainless sitting over here and some other stuff. But uh, let's see if I can find it. I just put it away. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Uh, I've got a couple of dovetail cutters coming. High speed steel dovetail cutters for this because they they have a, a dovetail on either end of the uh, of the grinding stone and I thought boy how cool uh, and then I looked it up and they have this little sharpening jig they sell for it so it's like, do, do, do. you set the angle of the blade and stuff and I thought well that's kind of cool I can build one of those so I'm gonna build one um, and then there's the drill press which still needs to be mounted in here to take the load off the mill uh, even though it's technically a drill press I just it's too much work to use it that way uh, never mind that the tables really nice and I don't necessarily want to mess it up cutting wood and stuff on it so uh, oh and I got a whole bunch of new parts for the lathe that uh, I haven't talked about pretty much at all I've been uh, crazy busy for uh, trying to get the video and the audio worked out of all things so I picked up uh, an OXA uh, quick change wedge type uh, tool post it's way better and these are uh, these are some nice steel uh, tooling things and they're, they're just broader and deeper and heavier and sturdier the whole thing is uh, than the uh, Chinese QC TP type that came with it. Um, and let's see if I can give a quick uh, comparison. I haven't set any of the tool holders up, but this is the 02 and 01, let's see, of the OXA. And mine is a, a six inch swing, uh, Atlas, not Craftsman, Atlas Klausing uh mark two or mk2 uh was made in the 70s or something but it's kind of cool so I, anyway back to uh, uh, while I, I got caught rambling again which i quite frequently do this is uh this is a tool holder for the qctp that i already had to file down it, it didn't fit the qctp in the first place um so i filed that down and it fits the qctp holder just fine but, uh, well, we're upside down. The, uh, see if I can do this. I'm not really good at this. So these two are, are quite a bit different. And you can't really tell, I suppose, at that angle. But when you, uh, when you kiss them, uh, dovetail to dovetail, like so, the differences start popping out. The, the width across is different I believe the the depth is slightly different and these are quite a bit longer uh, overall never mind that they're made of steel and not aluminum so uh, they're also a little thicker in that direction a little taller uh, they're just better built so I'm gonna modify these with the dovetail cut cutters that I have on order to accept the uh, OXA uh, tool post 
because I don't want to waste these. These these weren't cheap. So anyway, that'll be a video coming up when when the dovetail cutters show up. Um, as well as I don't want to put that. Yeah, I gotta put this somewhere that's not directly on top of the ways there. Oh, I stuff that stuff back where it goes. Um, and today was just all about cleaning. I haven't been out here in, in way too long. Uh, so I cleaned the whole uh, left side of, of the shop here, like to the mill and all the way back to the other toolbox. The only thing left to clean uh, is the grandma's attic in the shop truck up here and uh, <laughs> my figure over here on, on the passenger side of the truck there's a huge welding toolbox and just nothing but welding supplies over there uh, that I haven't made it through and organized yet so at some point I will um, and uh, I don't have any projects at all lined up today outside of cleaning that was that was a big deal for me uh, and to mention that I'm going to be sharpening knives, like in, a, in a, blades, all blades. It doesn't really matter if it's got a blade on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sharpen it. Um, and I did a little bit of dating uh, on a on a a knife that was a, a family hand down, I believe, from my grandfather. Um, for somebody that uh, somebody that was involved in World War II could have been my grandmother for all I know but that's a that's a vintage World War II K-Bar uh, trench knife in unrestored condition which I didn't have any idea till some guy I was showing the truck off and, and some guy spotted this uh, old guy and he freaked out. He's like, oh my God, is that a World War II? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. It's been sitting up there for decades. So I uh, did a little bit of research. Sure enough, it's vintage World War II. Uh, uh, USMC, US Marine Corps issue K bar. Uh, at least that's the information I got so far. I don't know if it's true or not. But either way, it's kind of cool. It definitely fits the, uh, the handle. Uh, and uh, profile of the uh, World War II era uh, K bars that were being produced at the time. So oh, that was kind of cool. Uh, and that's pretty much it for for, for an update currently. Uh, lots of cleaning, lots of organizing, uh, and a few very large future plans coming up. Uh, just waiting on parts, waiting on tools. Um, and uh, sooner or later, I'll have to source some materials, which will be a, a completely different conversation, I suppose, that I'll have to have with you guys and anybody else who feels like giving me money, give me all the money, or give me all the work so I can make the money. That That's okay, too, dude. Like, really, I, I could use some work. Um, because, you know, I, I want to build stuff. I like to build stuff. What can I say? I'm addicted to it. Oh. Well, anyway, I want to take a few minutes to play this back. Um, and this is a, just a shop update, basically. Lots of projects coming now that the video is kind of worked out. Even though the uh, the audio lag hasn't been worked out yet, the video has been worked out. And I'm hoping the way I've got it set up will deal with the audio audio lag lag. But there's no real way to tell until I review this video. So. I'm gonna get on about doing that. It was really nice to see you all, those of you who have taken time to subscribe. And those of you who haven't taken time to subscribe, I highly encourage thinking about it. Like, you know, button, subscribe, it's cool, it's awesome, makes me feel good, like I'm making videos. So basically, I'm just making videos for myself anyway, so. Hopefully somebody finds some value in them. Oh, holy man, I <laughs> got all excited, I totally forgot. So, uh, on a wire, I've been, I've been hunting stuff like crazy. So, I got one of these magnifying glass dew funcuses uh, that I, I have to, to fiddle with, so I haven't used it yet. But, you know, for fixing small wires and, and whatnot. And then, 
a buddy of mine brought some some shears, some shoop 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 fabric shears over and said, "Hey, can you sharpen them?" and and I got to looking at them and and they're just basically your Fiskars type. Uh very similar to my my shop scissors, my little junk pink Fiskars. I I love these scissors, by the way. These things are awesome. Uh not as cool as as <laughs> as my other ones, but uh, anyway, I stole this from my mom's sewing room, and and I'm not sure I'm gonna give it back. Like it's it, it's I mean it's a little spotty, but it's got a it's got a a flashlight when it wants to work. It's got a flashlight built into it, and two different magnifying glass do jobbers on it, and uh, and it's just dandy when you're trying to do little tiny work, you know, trying to sharpen something like using this guy for example, and you're down there like hark, 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 trying to get it right on the angle and not ovalize it or anything this is shears i mean those are flat edges like it's slightly convex and blah 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 so uh that's what else has been happening but lately i have been obsessed with sharpening things that's i don't think that's going to change anytime soon i really really enjoy it um and I've got a, a big 10 inch uh, Craftsman whetstone that uh, I'll eventually be uh, refurbishing uh, someday when I can afford the, uh, and I'm not sponsored when I say this, someday when I can afford the uh, Tormac 10 inch whetstone, um, I'll replace the, uh, the, the old Georgia soft sandstone that's uh, on the machine right now. Uh, and I'll keep that old stone because it's just kind of cool to have an old vintage stone. But uh, it's not fine enough grit for anything outside of sharpening like axe heads or, or utility knives and machetes and stuff. And that's not going to work in this shop. Like th this shop is more of a specialty deal. Or at least I'm gearing it that way anyway. So uh, that'll be fun. I'm trying to put my magnetic do funcuses. You see what I do when I move stuff? I just make messes for myself. The hazard of being organized, I suppose, is that when you move one thing, it like, it's like 35 other things fall out of the sky, and they're like, ah, and then the spiders show up, and they're like, hey, buddy, long time no see. And they're looking at me with 12 eyes and whatnot. It's, it's a little freaky sometimes. Whatever, I live in the woods, leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, take a minute, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, say hello, or tell me I'm a horrible ho host and I could use some work. Like, whatever. Any kind of feedback is feedback. I'll take it. Uh, anyway, hasta luego. Uh, we'll see you next time. Toma napshida. All right, this will be fun. We're gonna do a quick walk around, um, and that's the the lathe with the uh, the new OXA head on it. And I probably have to zoom in on that because this is as far as I can go with the camera. So yeah, there's that, um, and then. Of course, I clean the floor, and there's st still boxes or whatnot. Then there's uh, the mill. The table's all nice and clean now. And then we come back here, and I had to add that little toolbox because I'm just out of room in my bigger, my larger toolboxes. Uh, and that's my mechanic shop box back there. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Nope, gotta get rid. Ah. So. I put that toolbox, clean this whole area out today. Uh, clean the back up. Uh, this do funcus. Let's see if I can get it off of here. Yeah, lots of fun. So this the arm is where the. Uh, down here on, on this portion is where the drill press is going to go. Uh, and that's the welding box. Uh, let's see. I don't even know if I can get that in shot. There we go. Over on the right side there, you can see the welding stuff hanging. 
uh, that I didn't organize in the filing cabinet and some angle grinders and whatnot are there. Um, now let me put this back where I found it. Hmm. Fascinating. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, dude, I don't know how my hat gets so disheveled. It's because I've been wearing the same hat for what, like 40 years or something? Oh, whatever. We don't care that much. Uh, so, that's what I did today. And uh, again, until next time, like and subscribe. It was very nice to see you. And if you're new, it's very nice to see you. It's just nice to see everybody. Like anybody who stops by, I'm, I'm just really glad to see you. Hi. <laughs> oh, whatever. All right. Now I'm just being sappy. We'll see you next time.